A Colorado detective whose pursuit of the truth is legendary was laid to rest today. Lou Smith worked hundreds of murder cases and changed thousands of lives. He was known for urging detectives to walk in the victim's shoes, something he did on every case, including John Benet Ramsey. That case was still on his mind even in the last week of his life. James Jarman was at the funeral, and James, we understand John Ramsey was one of several people who spoke there today. Yeah, he was, Nicole. He and everyone else talked about the faith and humbleness of a man who dedicated his life to tracking down killers. To understand the secret that guided Detective Lou Smith through life, you need to know what this is. But first, Smith was a man who tracked down murderers, never gave up on a case, and put the victim first. He wanted today, his memorial service, to be happy. But for most, including the former sheriff, Smith's best friend. And to many of us, the best man that we have ever, <laughs> ever known. That's easier said than done. On an individual and deeply personal level, Lou Smith touched a lot of lives, and along the way, he became a law enforcement legend. Off to the side, barely noticed at first, a special section of about 200 chairs with flowers and cards with people's names and the dates of their murders. Smith felt so passionately for the victims, he wrote about it. The detective stands in the victim's shoes to protect the victim's interest against those of anyone else in the world. You work for the victim. He solved so many cases, like Karen Grammer's murder, the sister of actor Kelsey Grammer. But some cases are still unsolved. I had the opportunity to visit, to visit Lou a few hours shortly after he went into hospice and a week before he died. John Ramsey I says he went to thank Smith for his work on Jean Benet's case. And even in his last week, Smith was on the case. And there were some other men there that had worked on the case and continued to, and Lou was telling him what he thought needed to be done next, and, and so he never, never, never gave up. Which brings us back to this. It means, I love you. But for Smith, it means so much more. He knew that if the love came from himself, then it would have boundaries and conditions. The kind of love that my dad shared with others is a love derived from God, which is unconditional and has no boundaries. And that, his son says, is the secret to Lou Smith's remarkable journey through life. Smith was 75 years old. He died from cancer. In Colorado Springs, James Jarman, News First 5. James, thanks. A moving tribute to a great detective who changed a lot of lives. And services were also held this morning for Dr. Ted Eastburn, a former Colorado Springs City Councilman and well-known cardiologist. News First 5, Zach Sexton is live with more on the tribute for Dr. Eastburn. Zach? Nicole, Dr. Eastburn was beloved as a policymaker in Colorado Springs and indeed as a lifesaver. So that's why it came as such a huge surprise when he took his own life earlier this week, Tuesday morning, in Pikes Peak Cardiology, where he worked in Memorial Hospital. People here, to, though, today were focused much less on that, the why aspect, than they were focused on the legacy he left behind. A host of dignitaries and familiar faces filed into Shove Chapel on the Colorado College campus for the 10 a.m. service today. In all, around 800 people came to honor Dr. Eastburn. They remembered him for his compassion for people, his dedication to his patients, his innovative thinking in city governance, and his infectious charm and personality. Lionel Rivera defeated Eastburn to become mayor of Colorado Springs, but that did not dampen their friendship. When we ran for mayor, we respected each other. We remained friends. He became my uh, heart doctor. Uh, and I trusted him with my life and because I know where his heart was. Dr. Eastburn was an avid bicyclist and was often seen pedaling around town and the back of today's memorial program featured a poem called Prayer for the Ten Speed Heart. A lot of folks are wondering how they can donate to the family in this time of grief. The family asks that you donate not to the family itself but rather to the Peak Vista Community Health Centers Foundation. We can put that info on KOAA.com for you. Newsfirst5.com works as well. Live on Colorado College campus at Shove Chapel, Zach Thaxton, News First 5.